I think we all know why the chicken crossed the road, but why did the giant sea eagle cross the Pacific Ocean? I'm Dan Riskin. In 2021, Canadian birders lost their minds when a Stellar's sea eagle turned up in the Maritimes. That is a huge bird. It's about one and a half times the size of a bald eagle, and no Stellar sea eagle had ever been seen in that region before. Normally, they're found in places like Japan or Russia, so this one bird was more than 8,000 kilometers off course. Question is, why? This phenomenon, where a migratory bird ends up in the wrong place, happens a fair bit. A new study suggests the problem has to do with the fact that they can sense magnetic fields to orient themselves, just like a compass does. Now, there are two separate parts of space weather that can mess with a compass. One is the Earth's own magnetic field, shown here in blue, which fluctuates pretty randomly over time. The other is solar activity, shown in red, which comes in predictable 11-year cycles. Looking at more than 2 million bird capture records in North America spanning 60 years, scientists found a strong influence of the Earth's magnetic field on wayward migrations. But they also found that during the peaks of those 11-year solar cycles, that relationship was diminished. So it seems like birds have adapted to the sun cycles and know to ignore their internal compasses when the sun is especially active. But when the sun's quiet, they become vulnerable to mistakes. The authors of this study point out that these rare migration mistakes are a curse and a blessing for the birds. Some birds end up in places they don't belong and end up dead. That's the curse. But with climate change, this phenomenon might also help birds find new areas that were once unsuitable, but now work perfectly well for them. But the next time you see a magnificent frigate bird in your backyard, you'll know to thank the weather in space for putting it there. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.